Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you consider bizarre or uncommon? <laughs> oh, I don't want to answer this. What if I told you there's a game out there that could predict your future? I bet you'd want to play that game. Well, good, good news. I found it. Welcome to the horoscope. I need a shower. That's it. <laughs> I'm quarantined my- Hello! Yes, this is the same shirt I wore yesterday. Confession time. Think this game would have known that? Anyway, I found this game on Steam, and uh, it's called The Horoscope. And uh, it looks like people really like it. It sounds like a, a unique concept. Uh, you know, let's not, it's an RPG maker game. Let's not, let's not think about that. Let's just, it seems like an interesting little game. So let's follow it together, all right? Two bucks on Steam. Hey. Lauren has it as well, as we can plainly see right here. So now we know it's gonna be good. Will I be rich? Will I have more views? <laughs> it's like you're going to die alone. <laughs> what? Ooh, it's spooky. Well, it is called a horror scope. Oh, I want to know my horror scope, don't you? Oh, hey, that's a person with no face. That's cool. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. Okay, tell me. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them. Honestly. Now when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. So, no matter how hard these questions are, I'm gonna answer with the truth. Are you about to find some dirt on me? Okay, no, I'm gonna answer them as most honestly as I possibly can, okay? As long as I don't get cancelled. <laughs> we all want a positive outcome. We don't always want to get what we want, however. No, we're answering honestly, no matter what. What you'll find here may be disturbing. The truth. <laughs> I'm sorry. The first thing I thought of is like, I can't believe it's not butter. Is it? Will this game tell me that? <laughs> I need to know, is it butter or not? What you'll find here may be disturbing. The truths you uncover. Do you want the truth? If you're sure, they continue. I'm not sure if I can handle the truth. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. Wow, that's a bold prediction this game is making. But a lot of people seem to like it, so I'm guessing it's pretty accurate. As long as the answers you provide to the questions are 100% honest and true, this, will, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Like, what, am I gonna, like, fly? Start flying, or what? Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. I will. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a defense mechanism. <sighs> Breathe. Let's do this together. I hope you're still scrubbing your hands. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. So try not to think too much into it is what they're saying. I invite you to grab a drink of water. Yay. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. I invite you scrubs to do the same. We are about to begin with a series of questions. And provided that you're willing, uh, a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Most likely information that you could regret learning. Dang, I mean, what a, wow, I mean, what a quiz, huh? <laughs> or whatever you call it. Ready, set, go. Well, it's like not, it's not like an excited, ready, set, go. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh. God, I'm on the first question. I I need a can I get a lifeline here? I need to phone a friend. Uh, am I afraid of the dark? Sometimes, sometimes I am. I would say generally no. I'm gonna say no. You know, I, again, not not to think too too much into this. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? I'm like 90% of my time is spent right here, so yes. Do you ever feel alone, even when in a crowd? I mean, no, I'm not that kind of lonely. There was a time where I was, but yeah. If you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell them? That's a tough question. Oh, again, it's hard not to put yourself in scenarios because it's like, well, it, it depends. <laughs> I'm sorry, it depends. No face man. Or it looks like he does, or he or she does have a face. They're just covering it. Are they shy? Maybe they need to be taking this quiz. I think knowing when you would die would be a very, very dangerous not dangerous, but a very scary thing to know. If they can avoid it, then yes. I'm gonna assume that they can avoid it if I tell them. Unless there's some kind of Final Destination crap, you know, where <laughs> they can't do anything. I'll, I'll tell them, you know, they deserve to know, right? 
even if there's consequences, which I feel like there would be. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Have I ever been in a physical fight? Close, very close a few, on a few occasions. Someone has tried to fight me, but I didn't, I didn't fight them back. That's basically it. No, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no, because I didn't, I didn't really fight back. Oh, and I totally could have. <laughs> Are you uncomfortable in deep open water? Yes, yes, dude, yes. Them sharks be freaking putting them jaws on me. If you could give up your friends to become rich and famous, would you? <laughs> I already am. No, I'm not. Um, I mean, no, like, honestly, what kind of evil person would actually do this? I would not give up my friends to become rich and famous. Unless they're really crappy friends. They're just like, oh, better off without them. So, no, my good friends, no. I mean, you could just make more friends. But, they, you know, you'd be a scummy person. So, I'm gonna say no. That's a pretty dark question, though. If you looked to a crystal ball and saw the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be courageous? I mean, I've had times in my life where I've been courageous, but I'm gonna say no. I don't feel like freaking All Might from My Hero Academia. I'm not gonna go fight the villains, you know? It, it depends. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know, you said not to say that, no-faced person. I'm gonna say no, because I don't feel like I'm courageous, courageous. Sometimes I, sometimes I do be scared of the dark, but like, not all the time. So I'm gonna say no. Would you consider yourself to be a shallow person? I have, you know what, I have been called a shallow, and I would like to think it's a joke, um, but not really. I mean, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> my, my definition of a shallow person is like, so basically like, you know, you, you have high expectations for people that you only will, you won't really stray away from those expectations, you know? I'm gonna say in certain aspects, yes, but not... It's not that bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you fear the unknown? I both fear the unknown and also welcome the unknown. I mean, after all, isn't that what makes life interesting is the unknown, right? For if life was always known, nothing would be fun anymore. So I'm, I, you know what? I don't fear it because I expect the unknown. Ha! <laughs> I laugh in the face of danger. Does answering a ringing phone give you anxiety? It, it low-key kind of does. I hate phone calls. I hate them so much, especially because I always expect a freaking scam call. And, you know, you know what? I'm going to say in a, in a small capacity, answering a phone does give me a, a, a bit of anxiety for some reason. I can. I can talk to people, but I sure don't want to. If you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? Ooh, that would be scary. Imagine you actually found a suitcase full of money. Some people would be like, dang, that's awesome, right? But why is there a suitcase full of money? Usually, if someone's got a suitcase full of money, that means they're probably not the best of people. Or like, you know, they might want to hire someone to kill you because you have their money. I, that's that's something that I would personally be really scared of. And plus, honestly, if I found a, full, a suitcase full of money, I don't think I would keep it just because of my conscience. I don't think I could actually keep it unless... Unless you somehow couldn't find the owner, but like, you know, you get you find a suitcase full of money and be like, uh, hello everybody, attention, I have found a suitcase full of money. Who owns this? Every, you, everyone would raise their hand, right? So, um, no, I wouldn't keep it. Besides, it's probably a setup anyway. Does the name John mean anything to you? <laughs> John? Uh, it doesn't really have any good meanings, uh, I'm gonna say no, not really. Some funny references, but that's it. Would you consider yourself to be manic? Manic, 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 manic. I've heard of that, and I probably used the word, but I don't really know if I know the actual definition. So being manic is extremely elevated and excitable mood, unusually associated with bipolar disorder. Okay. The symptoms of mania include elevated mood, inflated self-esteem, decreased need for sleep, racing thoughts, difficulty maintaining attention, increase in goal-directed activity, and excessive involvement in pleasurable activities. These manic symptoms simply significantly impact a person's daily living. Oh my god. I've had all of those, but I don't know about at once. So a person suffering from this could go with days without sleeping and not even feel tired. Okay, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> that seems too extreme. Do you get bored easily? This is a weird one because I do, like, even things that I enjoy sometimes, I, I don't know why I can, sometimes it can feel boring, like, but it's, I, I have certain moods, you know, certain moods and certain days, but I can find, you know, I can find a lot of things to do. Like, I can scroll through YouTube all day, but, like, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary risks? No, that's not like me, actually. You know, except for the time I broke my ankle. That was pretty much the tip of the iceberg, and I decided to probably, like, ever since I broke my ankle and had to get, like, major surgery on it, uh, I don't 
take those kinds of risks anymore and I've learned my lesson trust me don't try to do a double front flip off of a trampoline off of a wall I'm just saying it's just for your own good okay just a little 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 heads up for you guys out there would you consider yourself to be a thrill seeker no no again I don't even like heights to be honest when you die would you like to be cremated you know what I don't actually care I feel like if it's cheaper on my family uh, because, like, for instance, my dad was cremated, and, uh, that's, that was probably because, uh, none of us had the money. <laughs> really sad, it actually is, but, like, I think if it, if it becomes a fight, because, believe it or not, dying here in America actually costs money. And I don't know if there's any kind of coverage as far as insurance, but I think it's actually, it's just kind of absurd that even when you die, you have to pay for it. It's actually a lot of money, and it's so messed up for the family members because like they're already dealing with that and then they have to deal with the the payment from the funeral home and then the casket it's 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 pretty awful when we had to go through that uh that was a, not a good experience <laughs> so i'm gonna say you know i'm gonna say yes just because just because like it's an option would you ever kill an animal under any circumstances uh i felt like i've wanted to kill an animal because it attacked my dog uh yes if it's attacking my dog or someone that i love or me i i will do what's necessary, but I wouldn't go out of my way. Would you consider yourself to be a romantic? I used to be more, and, and actually until I got like obsessed with like doing YouTube and stuff, I feel like it's probably gotten a little more down. Just because like, you know, I don't know. It's gonna sound bad, but I kinda had like nothing else to do back then, so I would be more interested in this, but like now, I, I, I have, ro I, could, I could be romantic when I want to, but I, I would say that I could do it more. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no, like, I have my moments, but I'm gonna say no. Are you a jealous person? <laughs> oh man, I used to be very jealous. When I first got with my wife, whew, yeah, I had bad jealousy problems and because I was self-conscious and I didn't like, you know, I I didn't feel confident about myself. But again, starting YouTube, doing things that I actually loved and enjoyed and working on something that I that is mine, that I could call my own, helps me grow as a person. And, and you know, I don't really think I, and, I, and not only that, but I feel like I've gone through a big mental health breakthrough uh, in my life, you know? And just learning about more about how the mind works, you know? I'm not perfect or anything, but I feel like I've gotten past jealous feelings. I just don't have any, any feelings of being jealous, to be honest. Would you consider yourself to be an empathetic, uh, empathetic person? Uh, yeah, it's so hard. Sometimes I feel like I, I feel actually bad when I don't feel bad enough. There's sometimes there's situations, um, where I feel bad for not feeling more bad. Like, when, you know when you look around everyone and everyone feels bad about something, but you don't quite feel that way? And and you you could question that, you know? I kind of get that feeling sometimes, but I mean, I do, I do empathize with people. Do you like animals more than people? <laughs> yeah, kind of, in, in some, in a lot of cases, sometimes, sometimes yes, because animals are just so amazing. My God, I love my dog so much. I feel like I'd rather be around my dog than some people sometimes. And that sounds messed up, but do I, you know, you know, again, let's not think about too much. I'm, I'm thinking way too much. I'm just gonna say yes, even though that not, may not necessarily be true. Are you a Virgin? I am not Virgin. She's like, well, this is your lucky day. She takes off her mask. <laughs> okay. No, I am not. Spoiler alert. This is all very interesting. Do you love your mother? I have a very complicated relationship with my mother. Uh, you guys probably already know this because I've talked about it in certain videos. I mean, but I feel like you have to love your mother. But I don't have the same relationship with my mother that a lot of people may have. Or may not have. I know a lot of people don't. But I've never had a mother. I, you know, I've never actually known what it's like to have... At, like a mother, you know, I've, I've had the closest thing to to a really caring mother that I've ever had was my sister because she raised me basically and You know she provided those things for me So but it's just one of those things where he's like yeah, you love your mother, right? You, you gotta you gotta say it. I don't hate anyone really. Do you love your father again? <laughs> Very complicated, okay? <laughs> I probably look like a crazy person right now. My father is not alive, but you know, it, it's just one of those things where I, I I do, you know, I had feelings of resentment for both my parents. I ain't gonna lie about that. But you know, again, they're your, your parents. Do you enjoy taking long, relaxing walks? Yes. Oh my God, I love it. 
is Halloween one of your favorite holidays? Uh, I love, actually, I love to watch people dress up. I don't personally care about dressing up as much, but I love to see the decorations. I love to see the people trick-or-treating and, uh, yeah. It, I, there was hardly any trick-or-treaters in my area last time. I gave out a few th things of candy, you know, but like it was kind of lame. I don't know if it's just the area I'm in, but yeah, not a lot of people were here, but I, I would say it's on the list of one of my favorite holidays. Do you believe in a higher power of any kind? Yes, yes I do. If Satan were watching your every move and you knew it, <laughs> he is, isn't he? Would you feel uncomfortable? Well, uh, you know, depending on what your religion is, you kind of would probably agree that Satan is watching at all times. <laughs> I, I feel like if you believe in, in, in God and the devil, right, you, you kind of assume that they're always watching everyone at all times, right? I think that's the consensus, right? So, no, I'm not uncomfortable. I mean, if the devil's in the room and I know that, yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> the devil is like, <laughs> Do you partake in any form of drug activity? No. I barely take medication. Do you drink alcohol occasionally? Yes. Very, it's kind of rare though. Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you consider bizarre or uncommon? <laughs> Oh, I don't want to answer this. Does anime count? I would say it's not uncommon anymore. <laughs> Maybe before anime was cool. No. Like, I don't freaking... I would say, like, Fee's not even a uncommon one anymore. I would, you know... I don't want to, like, go lick someone's armpit or anything like that. That's a little weird to me. Do you thrive under pressure? I, you know what? I, I don't like pressure. Screw pressure. I hate it. No one likes it, right? But I feel in a weird way when... Like, when I'm struggling, I feel like I do. I become more, uh, creative. And I come up with dumb things, and I and I tend to be more proud when I'm under pressure. So, I would say yes. Don't like it, though. If you can end the world with a push of a button, would you do it? What kind of psycho question, Alice, is that? And I just read your name for the first time. I didn't even know your name was Alice. Hi, Alice. No, I would not do that. It's awful. <laughs> do you sometimes hope for the coming of a zombie apocalypse? Well, you know, there's times where it feels like it's right around the corner, you know? Resident Evil's about to come out. I'm excited for that. But do I actually want the zombie apocalypse? No. Well, I, again, who would actually want that? It would be absolutely awful. Have you ever killed an animal? You know what? I've come close. And that's because when I was a little kid, I was awful. And, you know, I, I look back on my little kid self messing with animals. Like, I never, I obviously... I don't think I've ever hurt hurt an animal. I may have killed a frog one time. Uh, but again, like I look back at myself and I'm like, what the heck was wrong with me? And I've seen it from other little kids as well, you know, and I, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Little kids that like try to mess with animals can, you know, typically turn out to be serial killers. I don't, I'm not a serial killer. I look back at, at when I was little and I'm just like so stupid. I'm like, oh, I can't believe it. But I know it's just little kid things. Like little kids don't understand sometimes the animals actually are, are feel pain and, you know, they'll hit people too, you know? I may have killed the frog. I'm gonna say that because I think I did. I think I buried a frog and I still feel very terrible about it, okay? I was like probably seven. I don't know. If you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you be able to? Oh, this is... Again, it's like so circumstantial. Like, is the person dead already? Are, I won't kill them to eat them. Might as well starve to death. But when you go when you go crazy out of hunger, you kind of do crazy things. You're not really yourself. I'm gonna say if they're dead, and I had to, if I gotta eat my best friend's back meat, all right. <laughs> do you like guns? Uh, in games, real life? No, not really. I I don't even like being close to them. Really, I shot a pellet gun uh, recently at my grandpappy's place, and uh, it it was kind of fun. It was kind of cool though. I ain't gonna lie. But like, meh. Not really. Do you like knives or other bladed tools or weaponry? Oh man, I used to have a samurai sword. I had Sasuke sword. I bought it at like a convention. It was pretty cool. So yeah, I think knives are cool, but I don't really own any. But it's like not my hobby. I'm gonna say no. Yep, nope. Do you like blunt objects as such as hammers or bats? What kind of question is this? <laughs> you see this hammer? That's a good hammer. Oh, I love hammers. Again, I don't really like them. Like, I mean, who likes them? No, I mean, I don't like it. It's just a thing. Do you believe in aliens? I, yeah, you know what? Yes. Think about it, all right? The universe is so vast, it's supposed to be absolutely endless. You're telling me that there's not at least, because there's not at least someone out there just hanging out. Whether it be us humans, 
or whether it be actually Howard the alien dancing out there. Yes, dude, like, I, yeah, I believe it. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not gonna put on my tinfoil hat and start conspiracies or anything, but I, I believe it. Theoretically, if you had the opportunity to go to space on an alien vessel, would you go? If they, if they have that freaking lit technology and I think I was gonna freaking return, yeah, that'd be cool. If you could leave Earth and go to space, never to return again, would you leave? Uh, unless it's going to Mars, I would say no. I would like to go back to Earth. Not much to do in space, to be honest. Just be floating in crap. Do you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? No, I, d I did it. Those koalas be getting busy. That one wasn't really relevant. I was just thought it was interesting. Hey, you're humorous, Alice. I like the humor. Are you alone right now? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, no. Satan is watching me. <laughs> no, I'm not alone. Do you get starstruck easily? No, actually, I don't. Like, maybe if I saw, like, freaking Jarred Way, or if I saw, like, PewDiePie, maybe. Maybe I'd get a little starstruck. But in fact, I was in Japan, uh, the same time that PewDiePie was in, and, like, I, he was posting on a story, and a part of me wanted to go find him, but I was like, that's kind of a stalkerish thing to do, so I did it. So, if that gives you an ind indication of how starstruck I am, that probably doesn't. Like, for instance, I go to VidCon, right? Or I've been to VidCon, I've been to Anime Expo, and I saw, like, you know, like, really cool YouTubers that I've always, like, looked up to and liked. You know, and they just kind of walk on by, and it's like, oh, hey, that's cool. There they are. I've been watching you. Uh, and I might go say hi, depending on the circumstances, but other than that, like, I'm not like, oh my god. Nah, ever since YouTube, I don't really get that way. Uh, so, I'm gonna say no. Have you ever said a prayer? Yes. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> Magic. Uh, I mean, no, not not really. Do you believe in angels? Uh, I. Well, according to the religion, according to religion, I'm supposed to believe in angels, but I don't really understand it all that much. But hey, if them demons are out there, then angels are out. You know, sure, yes. Do you believe in? De <laughs> I just said that. I mean, if we get can't, can't have, we can't have one without the other. So yes. Allow, just, just show, I'll just show you Clarence and you'll believe too. If you knew you could summon a demon, would you do it? Uh, uh, no. No, I wouldn't. Speaking of demons, have you played other games released by Red Dumb Studios, such as summoning, uh, Twins, The Test, or perhaps even Naked News? Ooh, that sounds interesting. I have not. <laughs> you really should. They're pretty epic. I'm not biased at all. I'm starting to question your legitimacy, Ellis. All right, now that the shameless plug is over, let us continue. If you could travel back in time, would you? Oh, this is a tough one. Okay, uh, let me direct your attention to the Steins Gate poster and the Steins Gate action figures. I don't know why I call them action figures. The Steins Gate anime figures, okay? Time travel is a dangerous thing. If you ever watched that show, you would know why I think that. But I kind of would want to. I mean, it would be cool. But it would be very dangerous. Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Would you consider yourself to be evil? Only in video games. No. Would you consider anyone to be evil? <laughs> yes. 1% of the population are sociopaths, which means, like Jake Paul, <laughs> according to the series, you know, right? I don't think he actually is, but like, I don't know. That's just what they said. Which means that out of 100 people that you've encountered in your life, you've met at least one sociopath. Chances are you speak to a few of them on a daily basis. Did you know that? Yes, I did. I watched the, the Shane Dawson thing. They said it about a billion times. Do you think that you could potentially be a sociopath? sociopath? Uh, no, I think we all have very various um, attributes, but I wouldn't put a label on myself. It's better to kill than be killed. Do you agree? I mean, yeah, like if someone breaks into my house and wants to kill me, I'm not gonna be like, well, you know what? It sure would be better if I died <laughs> rather than you, you know? I feel like it's just human instinct to want to survive, right? Yes, not that I would want to, but trust me. Do you think that stealing from big corporations is acceptable? I don't think stealing from anyone, no matter what, is acceptable, um, even if they may deserve it. Because you don't, I don't know, you just don't want to do that. You just don't want to stoop down to, uh, like, you know, you don't want to be that kind of person. Now, if it's a life or death situation, I kind of understand that a little more. Yeah, they need to pay their freaking taxes. Like, I don't know how they do it, you know? <laughs> As a person that pays taxes myself, I pay up the butt in taxes, you know? I don't, I don't get to freaking, uh, 
dodge taxes. So I don't know how people do it. Making billions of dollars, like they should pay taxes, but that's a whole different discussion. But again, you know, I just don't believe in stealing, you know? Are you afraid of anyone in your life? I mean, like a psycho person? Uh, yeah, but like, no, not, not anyone I can think of. Do you enjoy gambling? Uh, in video games, yes, but no, I don't gamble. I've never been to a casino. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes. Yep. Do you believe in legendary monsters such as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? No, I, I don't, but if they freaking did exist, that'd be kind of dope. Do you believe in vampires? Nah. No, I saw Twilight. I was... I was almost convinced. <laughs> Do you believe in... Okay, I gotta look that up. I don't know what the heck that says. Oh, it's a werewolf. Why do you just freaking say werewolf? Why do you gotta put a, like, confusing thing? <laughs> no, I said... No, go back! What a... Whoa, 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 whoa! No! The whole thing is ruined! Is there a back... Tell me there's a back button. Backspace. Okay. Go back! No! Are you telling me there's no back button? I don't even know what I... I... Uh, that makes you mad. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it said. You can pause it, I guess. Do you like to cook? No, I hate it, to be honest. Would you say that you're a confident person? Yes. Do you think you're physically attractive? I mean, no, I'm not Prince Charming, but like, I'm not that... I would say I'm, I'm blessed to... I would say I'm blessed with the looks that I have. And it could be much worse, so... Uh, in a, in, a, in, a, in a certain way, you know? I think everyone could be physically attractive in some way. Do you think you'd make a good romantic partner? I am. Do you lie to people on a daily basis? No. <laughs> hmm, uh, who am I gonna lie to today? Do you suffer from anxiety? Everyone does, honestly. But like, not like big, big, some say no. Do you suffer from depression? Again, no. Everyone does though, really. Do you exercise daily? Uh, I don't do it every, every day. I'm gonna say yes though, because I normally do. Do you stay hydrated frequently? Water time! Thank you for reminding me. Are you afraid of drowning? Yes. Are you afraid of home invasion? Yes. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes! <laughs> and we have already, we already covered that this episode. If a killer were in your house, would you run or fight? Depends. If I had to, I'd fight. Wait, this this isn't a no or yep. What? <laughs> yes or no? What kind of, that's not even, <laughs> something doesn't add up here. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess yes equals I don't know which one to pick. Yes, <laughs> but what am I answering to? I'm gonna guess yes means fight, no means run. I feel like you probably would have to uh, if they, depending on if they, you know, if if you don't lock yourself in somewhere, you know, and they get to where you're at, then you you gotta fight. You you better do what you gotta do. If your house was on fire, you could safely get out, a but in order to save your family or pets, you'd have to venture back in and sacrifice your life to save theirs. Would you do it? Dang, this is so deep. Oh, God. Oh, dang. That's that's tough, man. I feel like any person, would, you know, would rationally say yes. But I feel like if you're really in that moment, it would be so tough. I'm going to say yes. You know, I, I would, I would, I would, I would risk my life for my family and especially my dog. <laughs> <laughs> do you like do you like animals more than humans? Yes, I would risk my life. I would I would I wouldn't I would hope I wouldn't die, you know, but I would try. If you contracted a fatal incurable disease that only gave you three years to live, would you try to pass it on to someone else intentionally? No, that's awful, Alice. If you were being haunted by an evil spirit, would you continue to stay in the house? It's the devil watching you again, right? If I knew it was gonna not follow me, freaking yeah, I'd get out. I'd move away. I'd move three states away. If I told you that you were currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? Oh, I don't like that, Alice. No. She keeps talking about things watching you, doesn't she? I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. Is money one of your favorite things? Who doesn't love money? <laughs> I know very well that money doesn't make you happy and money, like, having money doesn't... Does it... It's not, it's not, it's not the key to happiness because you can have money and still be miserable. Uh, but... Do I love it? Yes. I think any person loves money. Because when you don't have it, it really sucks. And that's not a crazy thing to say. Do you like quiet, relaxing music? Yeah, I do. Do you enjoy loud, aggressive music? I do. Are you afraid of dolls? I am. 
Once bitten, twice shy. Do you agree with this expression? I don't get it, but I've heard it. Once bitten, twice shy. What does that even mean? So apparently that means uh, an unpleasant experience induces caution. Oh, that does make sense. Yes. Yes, there are red there are red flags in your life that you need to look out for and when you get them They're called red flags for a reason. You're supposed to be cautious. <laughs> so yes, I do agree with that Do you believe in love at first sight? No Do you believe in the idea of soulmates? I'm gonna say no, I really don't I don't think it's a thing I think honestly and this is my opinion I think you can actually get along with almost anyone there's certain people out there that you cannot get along with you, you probably never will and that's okay but I would say generally you know a lot of people will share the same qualities that because like okay, for instance people they cheat on each other right but I would argue that most likely the person that they go in you know and Say, say the person cheats on someone, they go to someone else, and they think they're all better. The grass is greener on the other side. The grass is greener on the other side, right? But I would argue, uh, the person that they're running to, uh, to get away from that other person, you know, they probably act or at least have similar qualities as the last person. A lot of people are the same, regardless of what you think. And so you might just find yourself in the same predicament. But I believe you can get along with anyone if, uh, both are willing. So I'm gonna say, do you believe that? I'm gonna say no. Not really soulmates. You can you can be with anyone, really, almost. As long as you're both willing and 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 able. Have you ever had a one night stand? Well. Well, I mean, it's I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> it's if it makes you feel any better, I'm with the person now, okay? But it, it there was a time. Do you have a sweet tooth? Yes. I do love my sweets. Do you enjoy a bit of drama and chaos in life to keep things interesting once in a while? Well, we all need a little bit of chaos, but I don't- I don't think I like it. But it is interesting, right? But everyone likes that spicy drama. I'm gonna say yes, a little bit. Do you like fire? No, I mean, I don't- I mean, it's a great thing to have. Hey, you have a lovely fire yourself. Sorry, I glitched out for a second. But no, I don't want to burn anyone's house down. I'm just like, yeah, it's fire. Is there anything that you're passionate about in life? Yep. Anime. <laughs> so I thought it was YouTube. Would you consider yourself to be a gentle person? Yes. Are you afraid of conflict? You know, you know, I don't like it. I would, you know, I'm gonna say yes. Screw it. Have any of these questions made you nervous? A little bit, a little bit. Are you feeling relaxed at this moment? Yeah. Do you think anyone hates you? Yes. <laughs> Do you hate anyone in particular? No. Are you prone to holding grudges? Absolutely not. Forgive but never forget. Do you agree with the statement? Forgiveness is a, it's a tough thing. Because I, I think Forgiveness is like if you really really truly in your heart forgive someone then it's almost like You're erasing what has been done almost and you're supposed to forget but you don't really ever actually forget So I'm gonna say that's realistic, but you're supposed to forget it ever happened if you truly forgive someone So I'm gonna say yes Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? Sometimes it's very very hard to believe um, But in my life, when I look back, all the bad things that have happened to me have eventually, I feel like, led up to, in some weird way, a good thing. I'm gonna say yes. Do you like explosions? <laughs> EXPLOSIONS! Yeah, they're actually kind of funny in videos, but, uh, and it's kind of cool because I'm a guy. I'm gonna say yes. Do you enjoy the smell of burning firewood? I do, freaking, uh... I like, yeah, I do like that a lot. Are you afraid of flying? Yeah, every time I have to do it, you know? I love Japan, but every time I go, I don't like it. I don't like flying, but I will. Are you afraid of driving? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I don't, that's what I like to do that much. Do you think the war between nations is healthy? Uh, no, I don't. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes. Do you ever dream about being chased? Yes. Do you ever dream about hurting someone else? No, not not really. It, every time I've had a fight in a dream, it's like you you ever have that where you hit someone in a dream and it just feels soft and it's so annoying. That's about it though. <gasps> no! I need Oh my god, is there a backspace in this freaking thing? If I were to tell you that the heck was coming for you, would you know what I meant? No. I would very I would be pretty darn curious. Alright, I'm gonna try to backspace. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. No, backspace does not work. Escape. For some odd reason, goes forward. 
<laughs> if your answer to these questions could supernaturally predict your potential fates, would you believe it and use it as a cautionary procedure to change your future and save your own life? Sure. If it's if I, I mean it got good reviews, you know, we'll see. Although I didn't get to answer all the questions really truthfully, I might do this again real quick after this because I feel <laughs> I have no idea what those questions were and there's no backspace to this thing. Yes, that's good to know. All right, Alice, what are you planning? What's up to your sleeve? What's behind that face mask? Would you consider yourself to be incredibly self-aware? Yes, there are some people out there that I've met, I've worked with. You can always tell when someone is not self-aware and it's awful. <laughs> So, yes, I, I feel- I can feel that. If you know that, then you're self-aware. If I told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm, would you believe me? No, but I did see a horror movie about that, and I still hate mirrors because of it, so screw you. Can you feel something watching you right now? Uh, he's not looking at me. <laughs> I like watching my Chemical Romance interviews, okay? Sue me. Nope, my- my closet's closed, so I know it's not Clarence, so I'm gonna say no. Can you hear the whispers yet? Not yet. Do you feel cold? Actually, it's... Dude, I have like two suns in here, including the sun from the window. It's very hot in here. It's always hot in here. These lights are awful. So, no. Do you feel uneasy? No, not really. I mean, this is the scariest of games I've ever played. Do you feel like something is coming? Yeah, I would say. If you, uh, if something were coming, do you have a good idea of what it might be? Is it a present? Actually, I have no idea. Do you enjoy the taste of blood? No. But someone did at some point because I can see by your little mat there. No, blood actually doesn't taste good. Some people actually like it, but I don't. Would you rather bleed out than to be set on fire? Yes. I feel like being set on fire would be way more painful. Would you help your best friend cover up a murder they committed? No. They would no longer be my best friend, would they? Do you think about death often? Not often, sometimes. Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves barehanded? Probably not. I don't think I would. Would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? No, because I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. If someone were trying to kill you, do you think you could take their life if you had to? Yes. Covered this already. If your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have what it takes to put her down? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes? If there's a heck, do you think you were going there? I sure hope not. I try to be a good boy. Have you ever attempted to contact contact spirits? Nope. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? Nope. Have you ever had a sudden urge to push someone in front of a car? Nope, you psychopath. If you were a witness to a murder and the killer threatened you, if you told anyone, would you go to the police? Yes. Have you ever seen a horror movie? Go to the freaking police. They will probably believe you. <laughs> Have you ever seen a ghost or anything supernatural that you couldn't explain? No, I've had very like haunted haunting experiences But I think it was actually just like a coincidence, but it was scary and it was kind of fun But I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yes. I feel like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it If you can come back as a ghost, would you choose to haunt someone and make their life heck? <laughs> kind of would be fun like to mess around, you know, I would like to think if there are ghosts That's probably what they do. They just mess with people but like ruin their life. Nah, if you could make a deal with the devil in exchange for your soul, would you- No. If someone were hiding in your room right now and told you exactly where they were, would you go check? Oh, and I told you. <laughs> it's Clarence. You're working with Clarence! He's got a white face too. Yes. Are you concerned this- <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? Uh... Oh, I almost spoiled the movie. I almost spoiled the movie. Uh, I wanted to talk about it too. Dang it. I watched a very good movie that had a plot like that. Very good. Very recent. Lots of awards. I, I talked about there's been lots of noises in my attic, so there might be someone living in my house. Uh, uh, you know what? I am. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> Are you afraid of leaving your feet to hang off the edge of the bed? I am. Yeah, that gets me. <laughs> Come on, don't lie. You can freaking do the same thing. Have you, has your feet ever been pulled while you've been sleeping? No, it's been my- that's a, that's a nightmare right there. Have you ever uh, felt like you were falling uh, only to suddenly awake from sleep? Yes, sucks. Do you realize that you might be incredibly- Well, that is a- that is an assumption that I do not appreciate. So is this based off my answers? I'm gonna say yes. Everyone, at some- there's some things I kind of like, wow, what the heck's wrong with me? If you're crazy, you wouldn't know you were crazy. Do you understand? Yes, <laughs> that is true. If you could read people's minds and know exactly what everyone was thinking at all times, would you allow yourself that power? 
Dude, you could be so rich though. You could do so many good things, but it would be awful because everyone Because we all have dark thoughts. We all have thoughts that are like, oh, you freaking idiot, right? We all have those thoughts. But that's normal. So I think I would just get used to it. I'm gonna say yes. I would I would allow myself that power. If you could rob a bank and get away with it, would you do it? Well, I know this goes against my question, but they're saying you could get away with it. You could actually get away with it. No, I wouldn't do it, even though you said I can get away. If you could turn invisible, would you spy on people? Oh, it's like the hollow man, huh? Uh, I'd probably spy on my dog. <laughs> Just to mess with them. Are you afraid of death? Yes. I, yeah. Does the thought that there might be nothing after our life bother you? Uh, I could see that being a scary thought, but I'm gonna say I don't believe that, so I'm gonna say no. I mean, it's gotta be for something, right? That's what I think. But regardless of what you believe, it's like, why? <laughs> What's the point if we're just, there's nothing? Does the thought that there might be an afterlife bother you? No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? No. I don't feel like I should be. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yes. I don't think anyone would want to do that. Are you afraid of being lied to by the ones you love? I think that goes into the jealousy, so I'm gonna say no. Do you think you're the ones- Do you think the ones around you would betray you? No? Do you have a hard time trusting people? Yes. Do you feel alone in a crowd? You already asked this! Do you feel like you understand others fairly well, but others have a difficult time understanding you? Yes. Uh, do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point? I've always felt kind of comfortable. Do you feel safe? Yeah, I feel warm and cozy. Do you feel like you could easily be fooled by loved ones? Uh, no. Do you enjoy being dominated? Spank me, daddy. No. Do you enjoy dominating other people? I mean, no. If you could live like royalty, would you? Yes. If you could travel anywhere in the world instantly and for free, and you may never return to that particular place again once you left, would you do it? Oh, no, that would suck because I would go to Japan. Do you believe in time travel? Yes. There's lots of mysteries out there. Yes. Do you think aliens could potentially be humans from the future, just traveling back in time? Yes. Would you choose to sleep inside of a coffin? No, idiot. If you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you do it? Probably. Does the sight of blood make you feel squeamish? Nah, not really. Not that kind of person. If you knew a doll was haunted, would you buy it? <laughs> do you know who you're talking to? Would you consider yourself to be superstitious? No. Or just a little stitious? <laughs> That's a joke, isn't it? I'm not even sorry, that was a reference. That reference was worth it. I have heard that. Where though? Does the thought of being put in a straight jacket make you feel uncomfortable? No, but I don't know why it would. Would you ever walk through a graveyard just for fun? No. Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? No. Getting that Kuro? No, I ain't, I ain't getting no Kuro. Do you believe in voodoo? No. If I told you that there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere, haha. <laughs> Uh, you need to- you need to learn about our Lord and Savior, Clarence. No. Do you get uncomfortable on the Friday the 13th? No, who does? Do you feel- do you ever worry that you're being followed? No. Except one time. Are you afraid of sharks? Yes. Humans are more dangerous than any other animal. Do you agree? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? No. Would you rather choose the death penalty, uh, over living the rest of your life in a cell? Uh... Yeah, that would suck really bad, wouldn't it? But uh, I would run. I would want to live at least. I mean, at least I could still learn about things and maybe write and at least talk to people. But why die? Like it would suck though. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you're gonna die one day anyway. You might as well just see what comes out of it. You know, you might get out. I don't know. If I told you that there were seven secret messages hidden throughout the last hundred or so questions, would you believe me? Has there been that many questions? I would believe you. This is the kind of that type of game. Do you believe that you might be in danger from a supernatural force? No. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? Yes. Would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? Yes, actually. Would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Yes. If you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never to return to this current time, would you do it now? Do you do you have a specific goal in life that you're determined to achieve? Uh... Yeah. Would you say that sometimes you lack- Oh, yes. Yes, I like motivation sometimes. If someone attacked you, would you attack them back? Uh, well, it's already happened to me once, but, um, I, I would, you know, I would. Are you sure that the life you're living is real and not just a figment of your imagination or the Matrix or something? <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't think it's like 60 seconds, that one game we played. Oh, so yeah, nobody want to answer yes. 
If you woke up right now and realized that everything you know of this life was a dream and your actual life and everyone in it was entirely different, would you be disappointed with that outcome? I mean, yeah, I think I would because, I mean, I feel so lucky. Like, I, I really do. Unless, of course, it's better somehow. If you can win the lottery, uh, but would only have seven years to live, would you take the money? No, that's dumb. Now for the final and most important question. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. We're already here. I want you to really think about this one and answer honestly. This is the one for the prize, guys. Take your time and don't answer too quickly. Really think about it. Okay. Are you happy? This is all very interesting. I'm going to turn your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. You mean it, it has a chance of not wanting to do that? It's like, no, nah, I don't want to. I will be taking my leave now, but it was really nice getting to know you intimately. I will see you soon. Hopefully not too soon. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skip questions, answer honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. Oh, okay, good, because I did accidentally skip some questions. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Don't judge me. Based on what you told me, let me tell you what I see. Oh, dear. Oh, what? I see something. Something is very wrong. No, what? Your time is much shorter than most. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> your days are marked. Your timeline is set. There's little you can do, but there's still something. A shadow looms over your soul, waiting patiently. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. That's giving me the chills a little bit. Waiting. It's him. It's Clarence! I knew it! He's coming to take you away. You can feel him when you sleep, can't you? You can feel his eyes on you as you lay at bed at night. You can feel his breath in your neck as you walk by. You can hear his whispers calling out, but you never know what's real and what isn't. I see him hovering above your face as you sleep, a, mali a malignant grin from ear to ear. He watches you so close. He waits for you to come home every time you leave. He's in your home attached to you on your back. He won't leave you alone. He wants you. I know Clarence is a player, man. When you asleep, he will enter your mind. You will see him. He will be there waiting, waiting to take you away to lure you away into a false sense of security. You cannot trust him. You cannot take his hand. You cannot listen to his words, for if you do, you will not wake up. He will drag your soul off into another realm. He will carry you through the darkness to the void. The spirit will hang in purgatory, forever lost, forever wandering alone. It's not too late, however. Though, when you sleep, you will see him. You must turn away. You must try to, your best to awaken. For if you wait too long, you will be his, and you will never come back to your body. But he will. You must find the object of his power, something in your home that you feel uneasy about. I must burn the doll. It may not belong to you. It was brought into your life against your will. Oh my god, it's almost exactly what happened when I got Clarence. Find it and get rid of it. It's your only hope of getting rid of the demon that haunts you. Trust in your gut. You will feel that the object when the object is close, you will know exactly what it is when you gaze upon it. Rid yourself of it. Rid yourself of him. It is your only hope and time is not your friend. Your secret word is cursed. Oh my god, how ironic. <laughs> Remember this word. This will come in handy. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session. Make sure to let us know. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is the opportunity for you to be part of history. Oh, so that okay, that explains all the words in the and the, the reviews. Oh, we'll also be putting in the first 500 players who contact us. Oh, ah, in the credits. Hey, thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will make all it will make sense very soon. Trust me on that. I wonder what the sequel's gonna be. Oh. This must be the culprits! We must get rid of it now. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, hey, we can get in the credits. There's only 266 reviews. All right. It explained my situation with my demon doll in my closet watching me perfectly. My word was cursed. So I would say it was pretty ding accurate.